name is Nema Bilini. And this is the introduction to Plant Village Nuru. Uh, the introduction will cover what is Plant Village Nuru, how was it made, what can it do, how to get Nuru, how to use Nuru, and things to consider when using Nuru. Um, hello? Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Um, um, this is this was the video and I wonder why it's not. Can you, uh, I don't know, can you just share um, the actual, do you have any print screens of the app or? Let me, let me try to share the PowerPoint. Or maybe just go through the slides and talk about them. Okay. Uh, and your host, as I say, name I think she can unmute. Uh, my, uh, I think there is something that is close there in the side of um, volume. Oh yes. On a well computer. Well spotted. <laughs> the volume is muted. The volume here is muted, but I wonder the video is not. Yeah, can you unmute the volume? The volume? Yeah, there. If I unmute the volume, then I'll be I'll be unable to speak. Can you hear something? No. Well, you can share the video with us later. Maybe just go through the slides. We have been working with Latifa Muiso. Village Nuru has been developed by IITA in collaboration with Penn State University, Food and Agriculture Organization, and International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center, who won the prizes from the Inspire Challenge, developed uh, organized by CGIAR Big Data Platform, 2017 and 2018. Uh, what is Plant Village Noru is a mobile app for identification of disease symptoms and pest damage on plants. Noru is a Swahili word for light. It's a light that farmers can use to solve their agricultural problems. So how was Plant Village Noru developed? Uh, the object and image detection technology TensorFlow developed by Google was modified such that it can detect objects, the plant leaves and disease symptoms. And hence, it was trained using thousands of images of healthy, diseased, and mite infested cassava leaves from different cassava varieties. As you can see here, these are different leaf symptoms of cassava. This is cassava bronchic disease, and this is healthy. This is cassava green mite damage, cassava mosaic disease, brown leaf stalk, and cassava red mite damage. But Nuru has been trained how to diagnose cassava bronchic disease, cassava mosaic disease, cassava green mite damage, and also it can differentiate between a healthy and unhealthy plant. And here, this displays the uses of Nuru uh, all over the world. As you can see here, the map of Africa, uh, different farmers and different extension officers from different places, like here, West Africa, Nigeria, Tanzania, and any other places, people have downloaded Nuru, and some of them are using Nuru. So far, what can Nuru do? Nuru can determine the presence of disease symptoms such as cassava mosaic disease, cassava bronchic disease, and cassava mite damage. It gives the feedback on real time. It shows you the symptoms of the disease it has recognized and also give you advice on how to manage the disease it has recognized. And all this can be done in absence of internet connection. Hello, everyone. Hello. Yes, that's great. Keep mm -hmm. going. You've gone quiet, though. I'll go quiet. 
Okay. Hello. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Okay, where do you get Plant Village Nuru? You can get Plant Village Nuru from Google Play Store. Just have to go on uh, using Android version form. Go to search, write Plant Village Nuru. There you can you can install it. In case in case there's a new version that has been released, uh, you will be requested to update. But if there's no any other new version, you have to install. So this is updating and installing. So once you install, you'll be requested to open. When you open, the first option is select the language. So you choose the language uh, which you prefer to use, Swahili, English, and other language. So you choose language and agree the end user license. After reading the instructions there, you can click agree. I agree. And you'll be requested, to, if you are a new user, you'll be requested to register now. So go to register now. And here you, you, you write, you fill in the information, your information, your name, email, mobile number, uh, the select the farmer user type, if you're a farmer or a researcher, create a password, confirm password. And thereafter, a confirmation email will be sent to your email. Just follow a few instructions to activate your account. After activating your account, you'll be able to log in. And after logging in here, it has been written Latifa Marisho, but after you log in, your name will appear here and this will be your account. So at the bottom here, you find some icons. There's Nuru, there's community, resources and settings. So when you click Nuru, this is the first page that appears. We have different AI for, we have for fall armyworm. This is for maize, cassava and potato, which has not been yet developed. So this is gonna be your first page. Uh, if you are a new user, Nuru is gonna take you to take, take throughout so that you can, you can have idea on what is going on the meaning of different icons, like this one is here, you can post a question to the community. Here you can find crops, farm management, video library, pests and diseases. And here you can find, you can change your language, my account, message, sharing the app to other people and log out. So you get an overview on different features which are found within the application, knowing their meaning and knowing how are they, are they going to be used so that you can be familiar with every feature. After that, here it's a, now you select when you are going to do disease diagnosis, uh, you select type of a crop you want to do. This is cassava AI. You select cassava. If you want to do for cassava crop, select cassava. And here you get three icons. There's a proceed, there's scout, and here there is an icon at your left hand side. When you click on this icon, it divides into five sub -icon, sub icons. The first one is for real time diagnosis, it's only used for one plant diagnosis. And here you can use for disease comparison, compare disease based on the image. And here is a tutorial on how to use Noro. And here is the advice section. The adv getting advice on how to manage the disease. And here is the chat session. So as you keep on, you, you get to know all these features. As you keep on using Nuru, you get familiar to different icons which are found within the application. When you click proceed, when you click proceed, Nuru takes you to six leaf diagnosis. But before taking you to six leaf diagnosis, you are supposed to add location. Adding location is very important, knowing who is using Nuru at which field. So where you are, the type of uh, which field you are located. So these are the information you are supposed to, to add, like farm name, city, country. Are you at your farm or neighboring farm? So this was the video displaying on adding farm location. There are some few procedures on how to add a location. So I don't know if it's gonna play or we should just, should just wait. Okay, uh, yes, playing. So when you click on this left hand side icon, 
it directs you to one leaf diagnosis. It's kind of slow, but let us wait. Yeah, this splits into five sub icons as how I mentioned. And this one, if you click the first one, takes you to only one leaf diagnosis. So, and when you click proceed, when you want to go to six leaf diagnosis, you're supposed to add location as I mentioned before. So click on add location and there you add the information of the field. So presumably you only add your farm once and then the next time you select it. Yes, yes. When you add you when you add farms information for the first time, next time you just have to select the select the field which you have added in the information. So farm name, that's a video showing farm name, right? If you're around that, any other place, you just write there. And so it will request which type of a crop. So just select if it's cassava, then cassava, and sowing date, which which month you planted, then you choose the date. After they are, do you have, it may ask you if you have more than one crop, if no, if yes, then you just fill the data according to what no is going to ask. After filling, you click on the field that you have added the information. Then you, you'll be done, you'll be ready to go to six leaf diagnosis. That's wrong. Is it repeating? So is the idea that you would only do this on cassava plants that you had some suspicion there was a problem with or, you, or that you would do on a sample? Can you, can you repeat the question? So this leaf diagnosis, would you, you advise people that they do it if they think there is a problem or are you advising people to do it on a sample anyway, even if they look healthy? Okay, uh, it's advisable to use when when someone. Sorry, you've gone quiet. Okay, it's ad advisable to to use new when. You're still someone... very quiet. It's advisable to use new when you are unaware of the disease symptoms. When you don't know disease symptoms, no no can help you to identify disease symptoms. And if maybe you want to train others through Nuru, it's going to be easy to make others know the disease symptoms from different places. Hello? Okay, thank you. It's done. Hello? Hello? My video is done. Okay, you've gone quiet again. Do you want to finish the presentation and then we can... Um, see who has questions. Yes, I, 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 I'm, uh, I'm continuing. Okay, thank you. My video is not playing. Okay, now we go to whole plant diagnosis. This is six leaf diagnosis. Uh, Nuru will take you to six leaf diagnosis for each plant. When you want to do diagnosis, you can have an option of one leaf plant diagnosis or six leaf diagnosis. And six leaf is much better. You do diagnosis at the three leaves at the top and three leaves at the bottom for the, same, for the same plant. You're supposed to do it for the same plant. So Nuru will direct you to the first leaf, the second leaf, and the third leaf at the top, thereby direct you to the third leaves at the bottom and give you an overall result. Uh, when it does six leaves and did not detect any disease, uh, would, would, would advise you if you want to learn about cassava diseases in your area, if maybe you want to learn different cassava diseases at your area, there are some of the images there and cassava disease there, so you can learn. But if no one detects a disease, 
it tells you that I have detected such kind of a disease, if it was CMD or CVSD, and then gives you advice on how to manage the disease. And you can find here, these are the results, and here is the advice on what NU is going to advise. Uh, the major advice is use clean planting material, and you can be connected to how, 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 how do you get clean planting material? So you can get clean planting material via Seed Tracker. Seed Tracker is a website where you can get clean planting material. And this is a video showing how to use NUR when you are at the field. So the first thing is make sure you are, make sure you choose three leaves at the top of your plant. That looks unhealthy, but for for a plant which is very young, it's, it's very hard to find a diseased plant at the top of your plant. So you just have to choose any leaf and make sure the leaf is clearly focused, thereby you can press start when the leaf is clearly focused on your screen. You see, when you are done with one leaf, Nuru takes you to the second leaf. When it's windy, you have to support the leaf with your palm, just like that, to avoid shaking of the leaf. And when it's clearly focused on your screen, press start. And Nuru says it is healthy. So you can find the boxes of healthy are popping up on your screen. Thereby, you move to the third leaf on the same plant. When it's clearly focused, press start. Yeah. So after you're done with three leaves at the top, you move to the three leaves at the bottom. Why are we doing this? This is because some of the symptoms appear at the top and some of the symptoms, sim symptoms appears at the bottom. So you choose the third leaf at the bottom, click start when the leaf is clearly focused on your screen. That is CBST, cassava brown streak disease. Then you move to the fourth leaf on the same plant. and the last leaf on the same plant. Uh, you can find this leaf is, has very mild, in, mild symptoms. It's very hard for Nuru to detect disease. So Nuru will end up saying it's healthy because for milder infection, it's really hard for Nuru to detect the disease. So after looking at six, six leaves, Nuru is going to give you an overall result that it has cassava bronchic disease. Would you like to get advice on how to manage the disease? You click yes. And that is the advice. Just Use clean planting material. Where are we going to get clean planting material? By using seed tracker. This is the website whereby all the seed producers who have been certified who are producing clean planting material have been registered in such a way that a farmer can get access to clean planting material. And this is the web seed tracker has been used so far now in Tanzania and Nigeria. There is a plan of extending it to any other countries. So this is the short video of six leaf diagnosis, doing it while you are along the field. Thank you. Okay. Does anybody have any questions now or do you want to finish the, see the rest of the presentation first? Maybe continue, please, uh, Nima. Okay. So after six, I don't know, the video is not, not, not moving. Sorry, you've gone quiet. When you are done, yeah. when you are done mm -hmm. I can continue speaking. Yes, please. 
when you're done with six leaf diagnosis, there's an option of doing 10 plants per field. Maybe if you just want to get an overview of your field, knowing how much your field has been infected, you may do scouting. You may just select 10 plants per field. And in each plant, you do one leaf diagnosis. At the end, Nuru is going to give you a percentage of your field, how, how your field has been infected by telling you like, plant number one was, was had this kind of disease, plant number two, plant number three, until to plant number 10. So we call this is scouting. So you just do an overall, it's just like sampling. If you, you don't want to do all of the all of the plants along your feet, so you just you can do only few plants to represent the rest. Okay. My video is paused. So this was what I, I've been explaining, scouting. You do, you do 10 plants per field. At the end, Nuru is going to give you the results that you that plant number one who had this, plant number two until plant number 10. And thereby, he's gonna ask you if you want to be connected with farmers and seed supplier, a map will come here showing you different people who are using Nuru, seed suppliers and extension offices. Sorry, can I ask, so for um, Kigoma and Mara, do you have many seed suppliers and extension workers already on the system or not? Kigoma and... Not yet. Most of, most of the... Sorry, you've gone quiet. Uh, for most of, the, most of the seed suppliers who have been registered are from the coastal regions, Morogoro, I'm not that much sure about Kigoma, but not yet. I think not yet. So most of the farmers who have been registered, the, the seed, seed suppliers are from coastal regions, uh, Mwanza, the Lake Zones, Mkuranga. Yeah, we have some people who have been registered as seed producers. Is it okay? Yeah, thank you. And here, things to consider when using Nuru. Uh, we always advise the users to use Nuru when it's early in the morning or late afternoon. This is because when it's too sunny, the leaves are shining, hence Nuru is an, is an able, will be unable to detect the disease. It will end up confusing. So we advise the users to use Nuru when it is early in the morning. And another thing is to disease type or severity for mild infection, uh, Nuru is Nuru is not able to identify disease, to detect the disease. This is because it's kind of very hard, even for an expert to detect the mild infection is hard for him. So even for Nuru, it's very hard. And also for the type of phone, with Android phone with two gigabyte RAM is most preferable. And these are phones which are more affordable, even sensitivity of the camera. The camera has to be very sensitive. And also another thing is the how the focusing when you are using Noru, make sure you focus, make sure the leaf is clearly focused on your screen. Avoid sh shaking of your hands, moving, moving of your hands. If it's windy, just hold the leaf with your palm, hence you'll be able to get good, good and right diagnosis. So here's the video showing how to, things to consider when using Noru. Okay, uh, here's the video, things to consider when using Nuru. Uh, when choosing the leaf, uh, you select the leaf, make sure that you come closer, avoid, avoid a big distance between your phone, the, your phone and the leaf. Nuru may end up to telling you wrong diagnosis. Just you can see there, there's a hand holding the leaf, so Nuru, at a far distance says it was CMD, but when you come closer, it ends up saying that was CBSD. So that's what we say, make sure the leaf is clearly focused on your screen. Avoid shaking of the leaf. As you can see from the video, 
the, the hands are shaking. So Nuru can say this is CMD, this is CBSD. It's kind of confusing. It's kind of confused. So when you hold the leaf in a good way, Nuru gives you the right diagnosis. Even holding the leaf, detecting at the back of your leaf, Nuru won't give you right diagnosis. You may end up confusing it. So these are things that you are supposed to observe when somebody is, is using Nuru. Making sure the leaf is clearly focused on your screen. You can see the leaf clearly, thereby you can press that and Nuru is going to give you the right diagnosis. So I'm almost at the end of this section. Uh, we have another, another thing that is plant village database. Plant village database. Uh, whoever is using Nuru, whoever has downloaded Nuru, all the records, all the information are being uploaded on plant village database. This is where, yeah, this is plant village database. So whoever is using Nuru, all the informations are being uploaded on plant village database. So this is where the expert view can, can see how people are using Nuru. Are they using it in a right way or wrong way? And through this, when somebody uses Nuru while being offline, no image will be uploaded. Like here, like you see here, Nelson has detected cassava bronchic disease, but he used the app while offline. No image was up, up, the, up, uploaded. But here, Eresuida, the image has been uploaded. That means he used the application while he was connected to internet. Sometimes, yeah, we want people to use Nuru while connected to internet because so far we get more pictures. We keep on training new new cassava new cassava varieties how how disease they appear on other cassava varieties because we know that cassava disease they differ in different varieties how they appear how symptoms appear so if you use Nuru online there is an able to for for expert view to get the pictures but if you use online yes the detection appears yet you you, you get the results but for us we don't get pictures so this is well, some of the pictures that are being uploaded on Plant Village database, as you can see, these pictures are some of the bad pictures. They're not that much good. For Nuru to diagnose this is going to be very hard. As you can see, this picture here, this is the symptoms of cassava mosaic disease, but Nuru says this is CBSD, cassava bronchic disease. This is because the leaf was out of focus. Here, the leaf is out of focus, the leaf is out of focus, the leaf is out of focus. So when the leaf is out of focus, Nuru is unable to tell this what kind of a disease. And also there is, oh, it has gone. Okay, how effectiveness of Nuru, uh, this was the assessment, we did this assessment to uh, compare, compare the effectiveness of Nuru compared to researchers, extension officers, farmers, and farmers. So as you can see, the, they are trained and untrained. The researchers, the researchers have a high, high accuracy score compared to the rest of the group, compared to extension officers and farmers. That means we concluded that really farmers, they need to be trained. They really need to be trained on on disease detection because most of them they don't know the disease and they end up they don't know they don't know the symptoms of disease and end up planting the same infected cuttings from one field to another so end up spreading the disease but by doing that also Nuru, Nuru can help a farmer to identify the disease can help a farmer to recognize the disease and stop spreading the disease from one field to another uh, thank you very much. This was the team we have been working together from IITA. And in case there is any other question. Thank you very much. Um, does anyone have any questions, uh, Sally? Yeah, thanks, Nema. Just, just a question on that graph that you showed. Was that identification of disease using the app or without using the app? Graph, it was you. you uh, for, for, for Nuru, for Nuru section, we use the application, uh, posting the same image from, we collected same, we collected 170 images from different places and we used people's vision and Nuru, how, and, and Nuru together. So we compared 
how can an extension officer detect a disease and how can Nuru detect the same disease? And that was the result we got. So it was Nuru, Nuru and farmers, extension officers and researchers on the same, okay. the same yes, the same image. Yeah. yeah, okay. And what is your experience with um, how users, like if you put this out into the field with extension workers and farmers, how are they finding it? What results are they getting? How, how easy are they finding it to use or difficult, etc.? cetera? Uh, it's, 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 not, it's not that much easy for them because some of the extension officers and farmers, they don't have smartphones, but in case of being train, training them and how to use them, it's easy for, for them to use them. The only issue is they don't have smartphones and sometimes internet connection to the, they're in the remote areas, but to use, it's easy for them to use the application. Harry, mm -hmm. maybe you can say a little bit about your experience so far. Uh, yeah, but I think you can point a lot of stuff. Uh, the most challenge, uh, as I said, is the smartphone. And also, uh, I think they work on the Swahili version, so it's kind of good. And also the types of the crop that are in the app, are, all of them are in English, so it could make more sense because most people in uh, Tanzania, many farmers actually speak Swahili. So at least they could also translate that too. But um, for the issue of detection as uh, with uh, artificial intelligence app that they are using, I think it, uh, while using it, it was giving me a quite good answer. So. But for the moment I was using it, it was in Swahili, in English. So for the farmer to understand, I have to read it for them and translate it to them. So, and also, as we know, most uh, farmers don't have a uh, smartphone retailers. So most of them, they have a uh, smartphone retailers. So we have to train them also on using the app and following all the procedures and everything. So uh, for me, I think what they've done so far is kind of great. Uh, with a video, with a video of how to use this plant model, I think it could benefit a lot from so many farmers, but um, it is really good app. Okay, thank you. Did anybody have any questions? Maybe I can just ask how many uh, crops does it deal with at the moment? Sorry, Nema, we can't hear you. At the moment, at the moment, I can say it's two crops. Two, yeah. Yeah, one is cassava, and on cassava, it can detect three disease. And another is uh, maize. On maize, on maize, it works on only one crop, the fall armyworm. Right. Yes. So is there a plan to increase the number of crops and diseases? Yeah, there is a plan to increase, but this depends on the funds, the availability of yeah. funds. We don't have enough funds to extend to other crops, so. Yeah, because I know you guys had a big uh, cassava project, yeah? You have that? You guys had a big cassava project, which I guess is why you started with cassava. Yes, yes, there's no IITA, we invest much on cassava. We are doing many researches on cassava, so that is the priority. And do, do you have a, another app called Seed Saver? Hello? That? Hello? Is there another app that you've developed called Seed Saver? No, that's not. Uh, there is another app that is, it's not an app actually, it's a website called Seed Tracker. Is that what you're saying? Yes, sorry. Yeah, it's a seed tracker. This is the website where all the seed producers have been, have been registered through TOSC, that is Tanzania Official Seed Certification. So uh, in this, through this website, any farmer or anyone who wants to get clean planting material he can go to that website and uh, there is a map there which shows how different farmers have been registered according to their place. 
as I told you that most of the farmers who have been registered on that are from the lake zone and some from the coastal regions. So these are the people who are, they are producing clean planting certified material. So anybody can get access, any farmer okay. can get access to the clean planting material. Thank you. Um, maybe That's Kusava. Could you share that screen maybe? Um, and, and is there a plan to have more to register more uh, and I don't know if the pe people in Tanzania are you aware of this this website yeah there is a plan to register this is under Tanzania official seed certification task yeah they'll be, they are working with IITA there is a plan to extend to 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 other other crops, first of all, to other crops and also to other regions where they haven't been registered. And the issue of awareness, yeah, we are still promoting it, but not all, not not that much, not many people they know this, they know this seed tracker, but we are doing our best to train as we have trained researchers. We train also extension officers. Last year we went to Gaeta, so we are doing our best to move from one region to another so that people can be aware of Nuru and people can be aware of Seed Tracker. Thank you. And wasn't was there a third thing as well that you're doing? Another project, Akilima or something? That is Akilimo. You heard about Akilimo application? Yeah. What, what is that? Sorry. Idea. I just have an overview idea. It's the application that directs a farmer on how to use fertilizer and also directs a farmer if uh, directs a farmer on the type of the type maybe he is in the field and uh, the type of soil directs a farmer on what to plant on a certain area because the GPS has been taken to different places. So when you are at a certain place, you can be directed which crop has to be grown there, which crop will be much favored by that type of a soil. Are you, re are you required to add fertilizer or not? What is the weather condition? So it's like a, gu a guiding, guiding application. This, on this, I cannot say much. There is someone who are working on this application, but it's called Akilimo. Okay, well, I think it would be very interesting to know more about it if you could connect them and uh, connect us with them. Hello? Yes, hello. You, you we can't hear you again. <laughs> okay, so any, any questions or comments from anybody else? Do people think this is useful, worth doing? Well, it's really for cassava at the moment. Cassava and fall army worm on maize. That's the two things that are up and running, yeah. But I think most people grow cassava um, to, to some extent. Ezekiel, any questions or comments? No question, Janet. Okay. Yeah, it is just, it's a very good application, of course. But the challenge, I think, uh, with our farmers, especially those who are in rural areas, is the issue of uh, internet, access to internet, and again, the use of smartphones. Yes. Yeah, most of the small farmers actually, they don't have uh, sm smartphones. Yeah, I mean, I think this could be a really good tool for the extension officers again i don't know how many of them have smartphones but you know it's just it's a a way of getting really valuable um information that change might change regularly to to a wide range of people or wide network of people but it is it's a challenge it's just having smartphones and just being used to using technology i think and the internet, of yeah course. Uh Benedicto um, and, and others, how closely do you work with extension officers currently? Uh, for us, uh, we do training. Our target was the tool to be used by farmers. 
but reaching farmer all over the world is kind of very hard. So what we are doing, we train extension officers and extension officers for them, it's easy to afford a smartphone. Most of the extension officers are uh, educated. We can say they are educated, uh, they studied, most of them, it's easy for them to afford a smartphone. So we train the extension officers. We did this training from different regions, like in Kuranga and any other places. So we train the extension officers and it's easy for extension officers to train the farmers. Yes, I'm, I'm wondering yeah. from our team on the ground, how much do you work with extension officers? Uh, Ma Marius, maybe you can answer. No. Uh... I have a question. Oh, go on then. Uh, I'm not much familiar with the app. I just downloaded today, but I want to ask Naima if uh, there is any possibility that a farmer can capture a picture while he is offline. Then he, he can upload uh, later, especially for those who are in villages, so that they can have that an application, if that application allow to capture a picture offline, then upload it uh, while you are in online. That is possible. Uh, there's, a, there's a section where you, uh, you, can, you can take a picture and upload and there, you take a picture and upload while offline. Yes, there is, there is a section where you can do that. Hence, I did not explain it, but there's a section you can take a picture, you can upload, and the viewer, the expert viewer, can see that question and respond to, to, to your image. You can respond to that image if what disease has been has caused this image to be such kind. Also, when doing diagnosis, diagnosis is done offline. There's no need of you to be to have an internet connection. Only some features they will need you to have an internet connection. So when somebody has downloaded Nuru and when he, he or she is working at the field, he will be able to do diagnosis, he will be able to, to get the diagnosis results, and he will be able to get an advice on how to manage the disease it the disease, the disease Nuru has detected. The only thing maybe it needs internet connection is when he wants to be connected to seed tracker to get clean planting material. There is when he or she needs an internet connection. Okay, thank you. Um, Benedicto, um, did you have any questions? And can, can you say how, how much do you work with extension officers currently? Can you hear? Benedicto or Bertha or Ezekiel, maybe you can answer how much you generally work with extension officers, how useful they are in your region. Anyone? Hello, Janet. Yes, hi. Yes. Hi. I'm I'm sorry. I was dead joining because of the internet, okay. so I I decided to move to another place where I can get good connectivity. Okay. So now I'm online. So how 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 much do you work with extension agricultural extension officers in Kasulu? Uh, often we are working with the agricultural extension officers uh, because each each ward has an extension office, but the challenge uh, is only one extension officer in the ward, and he maybe serves more than ten thousand farmers, mm -hmm. so it is difficult for them to to reach at everyone's farm. So to advise about uh, proper farming methods. Does the does your extension officer have a smartphone? Mm, I think so. Yes. So he would. They would be interested in this. Of course, yes. Okay. 
Great. Um, yeah. Does anybody have any questions or so, or so on? Otherwise, I would suggest that maybe um, I can get the a copy of the slides um, from you, um, Nima. And potentially, do you have any slides in Swahili as well? Um, 